Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E, and this is the latest addition to my collection. This is the Seiko Prasaz SJE073J1. This is a limited edition piece, and it came in 1,881 pieces. And this watch is, in my estimation, the best Seiko dress watch out there. For a couple reasons. Now, let's do some quick measurements and get that out of the way. This watch case diameter is it's about four and a half. The thickness is about nine point eight. The lug width, uh, this lug width looks like it's going to be about a nineteen. And then the lug, the lug, it's going to be about 46. So those dimensions are just about perfect for um, a dress watch. This will definitely fit under any dress cuff. This watch is special, and here's the reasons why. The reasons why is because this watch's case isn't like a normal case. It has a screwed on case back, but this watch is a front loader watch. It has a double bezel. It's two bezels here. You take the first bezel off and then under this bezel is another one with uh, some spanning grooves in there so you can put a special wrench in there and remove the movement out of the front of the watch. This is a front loading watch. That's one thing that makes it special. The next, the next is the the silver paper dial, which is beautiful. And this watch is all Zeratu polished. And the indices are two. And the, indices, the double indices at uh, 12, 3, 6, and 9 are also uh, cut with a groove in them. I don't know if you can catch that or not. But it makes them dazzle in the light. It makes them dazzle in the light. You have an applied Seiko sign, a heat-treated blue secondhand, beautiful uh, presage printing uh, with the blue second track around the outside, and a chrome uh, date box with a white date wheel. It's beautiful. You have a signed uh, crown on here. Nice Seiko sign crown. The winding of this watch is butter smooth. This is one of the smoothest winding watches I ever felt. It's almost like it's nothing, like it's not connected to anything. It is, it is fantastic. Now this watch has a movement that they even use in the Credor movements. It's called the 6L. It's from the 5, 4L family, and it's decorated. You have Tokyo stripe and sapphire back, and a hundred waters, a hundred meters of water resistance. You have a really nice five-link bracelet that is held on by pins and sleeves. Twin trigger deployment. Closes with a snick. Seiko embossed on there. And this is all dia shield coated. And now the crystal is a high definition crystal with an ample amount of anti-reflective coating. And look how beautiful that is. Some people mistake this for the baby snowflake or call it the baby snowflake. This is a very different watch, different movement, 6L, higher beat, 28,800 vibrations an hour, not to 21,006. This also uh, movement was also leased out from Seiko to Soprod, so it's very similar to the Soprod A10 movement. So yes, a lot of Swiss movements that are used the Seiko uh, 6L, that's really a Seiko 6L. I know it says so prod, but it's really a, a Seiko derived movement. And they lease that out to so prod. But this watch keeps excellent time. Um, I believe it was uh, regulated in five positions by Seiko. And the only, the only Seikos that are going to be this good in polishing is going to be Grand Seiko. So this is basically a Grand Seiko um, without the GS badge. And, and, and that's being honest. It really is. This watch is lovely. It's the newest watch in my edition and, and it's collectible. 
I'll try it on my wrist is 7.25 inches you see how slim it is look at that that Seiko magic case prop profile the lug the lug is just right those faceted indices just dazzle in the light and then you have that beautiful beautiful textured dial it's like it's almost like it's icicles it's almost like like it's icicles I really like this watch it's a winner so this watch has been re reviewed to death um, I urge you if you're looking for a Presage and you want a special one get this one I think it's a lot better than the baby snowflake um, this one is, is just nicer to me that's just my opinion um, it has a, a a greater movement in there and it's just beautiful it's raw too polished special 6L movement and Seiko's gone upstream with these movements so anything else in these movements with these movements are going to be more money this is the last hurrah 2018 for Seiko and then they went upstream everything is going to cost a lot more I'm talking like four grand Grand Seiko territory. So, this is a very collectible watch. Let me know what you guys think about it. My name is Big E. That's the watch once over. And I'll catch you guys next week.